Hey everyone, um, so this is my uh, quick breakdown for the reanimator, um, Herbert West reanimator. Uh, I'm just going to kind of walk through uh, what we did here. So uh, I guess let's get started. So I started out with the, um, the sketch of the skull and then did uh, the war helmet. Um, as you'll see here in a second, there you go. Um, <clears throat> I, I flipped it, flipped it horizontal. Um, Herbert West, uh, signed up as a medic, um, so he could get fresh, fresh corpses more quickly. Um, so here, uh, I'm doing the syringe and I've found it easier when doing stuff like this, just to do it straight up and down. Cause I can use the the shift key in Photoshop to lock a straight line and then draw things out and um, flip horizontal as needed. Uh, so here I've got one done, then I copied it and um, flipped, did another one and just trying to get the angles right and the size right. Uh, I'll end up messing with this more as we keep moving on, but here I was okay with it for now. I wanted to move on the color. so. I had a green that I had picked out that I'm going to use for the overall green for the fluid and I'm blocking in some shadows here. Uh, I'm using um, the watercolor brushes. Um, I don't remember the woman's name that did the brushes, but I'll put that down in the notes um, so you can go and download those if you want to. It's just, it's only, if, I'm only using I think like three different brushes here for the painting and then I'm using a couple for the blending. Um, very, very minimal um, number of brushes used here. So, uh, you know, there's a, some resource for the helmet and uh, resources are a huge deal. So definitely go and get your resources and have them nearby. And as you can see, I had pulled some color uh, that I'm using just kind of as an overlay uh, for the color of the helmet and the cross. Um, I'll end up doing a bunch of different layers over top of this. You, you kind of build it up and knock it back and then build it up and knock it back and you know repeat. So here I'm trying to get the reds in so that it stands out a little bit but still has the green shimmer. Uh, here I'm working in some more highlights and blending things, uh, more highlights here. Um, just trying to figure out like where where the brightest points are going to be in the darkest. Here I'm shaping out the teeth more, uh, starting to give them some more shape. I kind of like that they're kind of like creepily, almost perfect in the front, and like the weird, like almost sawed off like chiclet teeth or something, or it's kind of weird to me. Here I'm blocking in some background, then jump back to the pencils that I had done originally and pulling some of that out to start to build up the actual painting a little bit more, get rid of some of the pencils. Now I'm dropping in some of the body of the syringe and I'm back to um, background and kind of the drop off of where the helmet's going to be. And it's always like this, you know, you're just kind of all over the place. Now I'm building up some glows and the, there's no formula for this stuff. You just kind of do what you do, you know, you like do what feels right at the time, like for you to keep painting. As you can see, I was dropped in some shadow to pull out the skull. Now I'm cleaning up some of the syringe, cleaning up some of the medic cross, cleaning up some of the helmet lines, some more stuff on the cross, uh, <laughs> more stuff on the cross. Um, I don't know, you can probably see like there's a lot of flashes where I'm turning layers on and off to kind of see how lighting and under layers are looking and what's helping and where things are coming from. Uh, here I'm starting to put in a little bit of a little bit of like weight to the fluid so that it's almost believable that 
there's fluid in there instead of it just being like a solid object. I ended up doing a lot with the uh, highlights here. Um, ended up not using any of the stuff that I'm doing, but I tried again using just like the shift key for straight lines and building it up that way. And eventually I ended up just hand painting it. But this was a good way for me to at least play with it and kind of see what I wanted or didn't want. So, you know, try everything or try a lot of things and see what works. And you can always erase it or hide a layer and save it for later and go back over it. Here I'm still working on it. And I haven't even realized, the, like right here, I'm moving the highlights at the bottom because I just realized that the syringe, like the glass actually goes past the plunger. And um, when I was blocking it in, I was doing it pretty quickly. So I, I wasn't really looking at that. But then as you get into the details, you start to realize that kind of stuff. Um, so here I'm making the making it just the glass because the plunger's already plunged through part of it. So um, trying to give that glass some transparency so you can see that the plunger's in there. And, you know, obviously it's going to be pushing the fluid soon and then, you know, getting the handles built in and the plunger plunge thing. I don't know what the hell it's called, but, you know, getting that built up, cleaning up some of the lines in the glass as I'm doing here. A lot of layers going on and eventually end up getting rid of a lot of these because it does start to get confusing. But um starting to clean some of this up and realizing that it wasn't quite centered so building it up trying to make it feel still like it's kind of um i guess surgical steel basically but you know like a steel or a chrome or metal so it would have a nice highlight to it but then getting it centered more so it's a bit more believable and then building in more green you know more body uh here building in the plungers, you know, like the metal and the plungers and the light and dark and then the weight of that and how much it's pushed back into darkness, you know, just to give it some extra, like, weight and life uh, in the scene. I ended up doing, like, messing with these plunger things a lot and redoing them numerous times and dropping them on several different layers to really get them to look the way that I wanted them to. Um, but yeah, I did do the one on the left and kind of got it where I wanted and then duplicated it and flipped it and moved it over and then kind of ended up repainting um, both of them, honestly. But it's a good place to start and it saves you a little bit if you're trying to do something symmetrical. Uh, so here, you know, more highlights in the helmet, Blocking in more shadows in the, in the eye sockets, trying to get that stuff built in. Um, a lot of jumping back and forth and turning layers on and off. But the back and forth stuff, um, I really feel like is kind of like painting on the palette and then walking away, etc. Um, unfortunately, I did not get uh any of the video of me working in the text i'm sorry about that uh that didn't end up working out it, i i thought i was recording it but i was not recording it so i don't have that for you so i'm sorry about that but um at the you'll see at the end what it looks like but that's the basic breakdown and kind of a quick breakdown of the process of what i was doing as far as uh the painting and I don't know, brushes and just the overall process. I right, hope you like it. Uh, I'll be doing more of these, so stay tuned. All right, guys. Thank you. Bye.